two for the Duke Blue Devils Low. Shea Pepler, Jordan Cornette here inside our Campus Insider Studios. And to discuss the newbies in Durham, let's welcome in Hoops Analyst for Scout.com, Evan Daniels. And Evan, Scout has Duke listed as the number one class for 2014, but do you think this class is overhyped or are they the re real deal? No, the, this class is the real deal. A anytime you have three top 10 players in one recruiting class, it's the real thing. And uh, they also have the nation's top player in Jaleel Okafor. He is a dominant low post presence, uh, a terrific post scorer, and maybe the best post scorer in high school basketball uh, since DeMarcus Cousins. And, and you throw in Jaleel Okafor, and then you have the number two point guard, Tyus Jones, a great facilitator, and Justice Winslow. He's currently ranked number 10 overall, a 6'5", do-it-all wing. He's one of the best defenders in the in the 2014 class, and and then their their throw-in guy Grayson Allen, he's currently ranked number 36 overall, but will move up in our final rankings. This is a terrific group that has a uh, quite a few pieces, um, and I think all those guys are going to be able to help Duke early in their career. Well, Jay, you heard what Evans had to say about the new guys coming in, but Duke does lose Jabari Parker and Rodney Hood to the draft. So do you think Duke fans should be worried about taking a step back now? Well, I think if you're worried, then you just have a lot of anxiety because this <laughs> team is going to be great next season. So great, I think they come into next season as the number one team in the land. That kind of pressure I'm putting on these guys because I think they can deliver. I think the guy who stands to benefit the most from these guys that Evan was talking about in terms of these freshmen is Rashid Suleiman, gaining so much momentum going into March of last season. Really, really became a go-to scorer for them. A great outside threat. More will be expected of him, and he'll be more effective because of the fact that they'll be able to do so much down low, taking the pressure off him, allowing him to freely operate in that perimeter. Now, when I talk about the talent on this team, how about my projected starting lineup? The best starting five in the country. Tyus Jones comes in as a freshman, plays great. Quinn Cook gives you that experiment. I told you about Suleiman and what he's going to give. Jefferson really benefits from Okafor. And think about this. Duke hasn't had a go-to scoring guy in down low since Sheldon Williams and Carlos Boozer. Those are the last two guys you can really think of. Well, Okafor gives you that. The best freshman in Atlanta, big body at 10 can give you high efficiency and very, very productive guy on a low block scoring that basketball. What do you think, Evan? I agree with just about everything he said. When you have a guy like Tyus Jones that can really facilitate and get into the, the lane and create shot opportunities for other guys, I think it opens up the floor. And I think both of those guys are going to benefit from that. Uh, then, then you throw Jaleel Okafor, a, a guy that you can throw the ball to on the block and say, go get a bucket. And that's what he's done uh, throughout his career. That's what he did in all the All-Star games. He really separated himself, in my opinion, uh, from his peers. I, I think he is the clear number one player in the country, and I think he's ready to make a, a major impact in college and you know he could arguably be the best big man in college basketball next year so I, I think this is going to be a terrific group I think this is a group um, that will help set up Duke for a, uh, a long tournament run and I, I think that should be expected. All right Evan Daniels thank you very much Jordan Cornette great stuff as always and for more surrounding college basketball be sure to keep it locked on campusinsiders.com.